Hello guys, uh, in this tutorial I'm going to texture our road, rowboat. So let's and create new scene in Substance Painter. So we're going to select our model, which is this guy. So we have our boat here. So this is the boat model. And uh, so what we're going to do, we're going to bake textures. So this one, I think I can rename it. No, I cannot. Anyway, so this is two models. This is for the for the pedal and for the boat. So what we're going to create right now, we're going to go to the bake textures. Because this is the first thing which we have to do always when we are trying to create textures, like proper ones. So let's choose, I'd say, yeah, I'd say this one. And let's press bake all textures. Let's just wait. I'm going to stop it while it's bake. Okay, guys, we're going to continue with the. So we have we have our textures baked. So what next? Uh, I'd say let's go to the material panel. Let's choose smart materials, and let's check one of those wood chest wood. Let's try this one. Mm, doesn't look that great. I'm gonna try this. Looks pretty cool. With these cracks there. Yeah, looks actually nice. But I'm one more than this one. Actually, I like this one. This one looks very nice. So I'm gonna stick with this one, and you know, I think I'm going to add some scratches. Let's add some scratches in this boat. So for that, we are going to create um, so I'm gonna try, let's go actually to our Hello, and let's add this thing here. See what it's gonna look like. Yeah, it looks nice. Okay, I want to do add some scratches and maybe some paint to this boat. So what I'm going to do right now. So I'm gonna go to the this is still painted. I'm gonna go to smart masks, I guess. Smart masks. And I'm going to add, I'm going to add another material. Uh, let it be material, let it be maybe some kind of paint. Plastic mate or I'm actually gonna try this one. Okay, so let's put this on the top. Okay, this is a little, little, little dirty, which is good. Which actually, I really, I really like. Okay, looks very, very good. So, I don't like the color though, and um, maybe it looks too dirty, you know. But it looks very nice. So uh, what I want to 
try here. Um, I'd say we have to get rid of the metallic part, metal base. So for that, I'm going to go here. I'm going to press this one. I'm going to put roughness here. Roughness. So it's metallic. It does. It's not metallic. Okay, it has to be. It has to be rough. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it has to look like a paint. So now, what are we going to? We're going to change the color. Um, I'd say we're going to stick, I don't know, maybe with the, with the white. White, or what kind of colors? Blue, maybe. Yeah, the blue boat looks pretty cool. Yeah, I'd say the blue one looks pretty cool. Or green one. Or red one. What about red one? Or blue? Blue. Let's try blue one. So let's stick with this color. Maybe I'm gonna make it a little bit more brighter. And then I'm gonna go and. Okay, we have dirt here. Have dirt here and. Uh, dust uh, we have rust here we have metal base okay the rust part we are going to I think we are gonna go right now we're going to leave the rust here And we are going to create a mask. Let's take out the rust for now. A little bit dirty parts. And let's create a mask. It's going to be smart mask. Go to smart masks. And I want to add some dirty dry concrete rust ground I'd say it has to be dirty dry in this one let's try this one This is maybe a bit too much. Uh, you know, I would swap those these two materials. So if I swap them, and if I go for the sharp, sharp dirt, no. Maybe if I go for the Scratches. Let's try this. We're getting this. No, I don't really like this one. Edge damage. Edge damage. This is looking interesting. Maybe I have to add some more. Balance, global balance. A little bit more. A 
global contrast Does look nice. But, uh, I would add some more stuff. Actually, kind of like this part. Okay, let's try again with this one. Let's balance. And maybe if I change here, uh, brush pattern. Can we change some texture scale? This and texture too. Yeah. I like this one. Yeah, this is looking good. Some rust in here, but instead of this, I would uh, say Dust. Do they have dust or not? I don't think so. I will delete this part, this part, and I would add this global balance thing. Which is dirt. Yeah. Which is dirt. Now I want to add some. Maybe some 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 other dirt parts. So I would say let's close this and this. Let's create new material. Not here, but here. And let's change the color to. I don't know I'm gonna take the blue one. It's gonna be like a darker darker blue paint or something like that uh, metallic part I don't know I don't want metallic roughness yes something like that and I want to add some smart masks and it's going to be 
that's ground, sand. And I'm going to say, let's say. This one, oh no, I don't like it. They're just strong. make it maybe darker. Actually we can add this like a moss, seriously. Like dark parts. And if we go to the contrast Yeah, like that. And level. Yeah, exactly. Like that. And I'd say let's add maybe some. Let's copy this layer. Yeah, let's delete this mask. A clear mask. Okay, and I'd say let's try. white. Let's put rust here. Rust and I'd say let's change the Maybe the size it will contrast scale the texture. This is pretty cool looking boat right now. And alright, 
it and I'm going to add I'm going to add some dirt on this. Okay, what are we going to do? Let's create one more layer. And it's going to be black. And we are going to add some. I'm going to just. going to change the color to black I guess yeah cool okay I would probably change the bottom of the um, of the boat. So for that purpose, I would go and I would, for example, um, let's copy all of those guys. Let's create a folder. Copy those guys, put them inside. I would copy this folder. to change the colors of these textures we want to the inner part I want it to be white so I'm going to this is going to be gray and I would choose I guess so we've got here machinery wood so this filter go for this like that so and now now I'm going to create a black mask and I'm going to select some of the polygons in here so I'm gonna to go to objects it's gonna be white 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 this part is going to be white I'll select all of these guys Okay, this one shouldn't be white. Undo, undo, undo. Okay. small parts to all right and this one okay So we have to mm -hmm. 
This one's gonna be blue. This one's gonna stay blue. Okay, so this is how it looks like now. It's white. Yep. And I say if we go for the vessel here, I will change this one to white too. Uh, the roughness like this. No, I'm not sure about this color. Do you like it? Like it blue eyes. What if we go for the red one? What if we change it to the red one? If we go on here, I'm gonna change it to the red color. That red, maybe. maybe this kind of red color. And for example, I would change the wood color to the sharpen. Bright red, yeah. like that. Bright red, and bigger maybe curvature. More contrast. Inside part should it be red, or maybe we can make another color. The white, I think it's white is nice. Okay, I want to change these parts. So um, I'm gonna go this mask again and I'm gonna select these things. I'm gonna make them red too. Yeah, I like it better. Yeah, definitely better. And about the battle. I don't know, I think it has to be red. Mm. 
has to be this red and the walnut space color it has to be darker definitely all right so after that I want to add some some signs on the boat so for that I'm gonna go and I'm gonna find what we have normally on our boats what kind of signs do we have on our boats some numbers yeah? some numbers This name, we can put the name there. We can put this kind of number. Okay, let's go to Photoshop. Um, uh, dope Photoshop. Okay, so let's create new. Okay, create. Uh, it's gonna be a mask. Extras. And let's type something like. I don't know. Um, H. Like that. Let's make it bigger, much bigger. Let's change font size, font. like that I like it yeah looks nice and the name in the bottom Mary Claire Mary Claire okay good let's make it like a mask Let's save this as a mask name. So let's go right now to our desktop and robot and let's import this to our. It's gonna be texture, it's going to be current session with maybe alpha current session import so we've got it where, where yeah here so uh, right now we are going to create one more one more layer so let it be here on the top of this one we are going to create one more layer it's gonna be, I guess, white color, uh, not metallic. Roughness, it's gonna be white, white color. And we're going to create mask, black mask. And we are gonna go for the stencil. So let's put this one to stencil. Uh, with the pressing S, we can. And with the pressing uh, right mouse button, we can scale it. So let's say something like that. And I'm going to put it somewhere, somewhere here, I guess. 
S and left mouse and we can rotate it. Okay, this was not necessarily there. We're going to delete this one. Okay. So we have this number here and it's symmetrical. Which is fine. <laughs> That's what we forgot to change. Anyway, it's all right. And um, and what else? The name. We're going to put here the name. I'll clear in the back. Very clear. Okay, it looks pretty cool. Okay, now let's change one thing. I'm going to actually delete this one and I'm gonna put this mask right here. So it has the same thing. Okay. Let's do it out to stencil and we see here, yeah, looks very cool, this boat. Okay, even though we're having this symmetrical thing there, the mirror still looks cool. Okay, okay guys, so this is it, we have this boat here. We have this pretty cool bow here, the red one, with this the name is Mar Mary Claire. So it looks pretty cool. That's it. So subscribe and I'm gonna add me some other tutorials which we are hopefully you're going to enjoy. So see you there. Bye.